In tutorial 5 of this series, I showed you how to install the JCE editor to give us more options for formatting our articles. In tutorial 6, I showed you how to create articles, and in tutorial 7, I showed you how to link articles to single article menu item types on the front end of the site. This is what our single article looks like on the front end now, but you see there isn't much formatting in this article at all. To start formatting this article, we'll return to the back end and we'll use the JCE editor and different features within the editor to format the article. When we first started this article, I showed you how to paste as plain text, and I want to add some more text in here, so I'll click on the Paste as Plain Text icon again so we can paste some text into this window. Once we do that, remember, I'll click on the Insert button and the text will be inserted, but any formatting coming with that text will be erased. Next, I'll highlight the very last sentence in the article so I can apply some pre-formatting styles to that sentence. I'll use this drop-down here to select from one of the many pre-formatted styles, and in this case, I'll select Heading 2. You can see that the text on the page changes a little bit and applying a Heading 1 or Heading 2 preformatted style is very important for search engines. If I click on the Source Code Editor button here, I can toggle to the HTML source code of the article. This will show me that the text I just highlighted and changed has been wrapped in an H2 tag. Scrolling down, if I look at that sentence, Notice the H2 tag around the text. Many search engines will index content placed within an H1 or an H2 tag. And you don't need to know HTML in order to edit a Joomla article, but it can be helpful at times. Click on the Source Code Editor button again to toggle back to the normal view. The next type of formatting we'll apply to this article with the editor is an unordered list. I've got four items in the middle of this article that I'd like to stand out a little bit. I'll go ahead and highlight those four items and I'll go to the editor and I'll select the unordered list button. Notice how I can also select an ordered list, but for the purposes of this article I want to go with an unordered list and using the drop down I can select the circle as the type of unordered list I'd like to create. The next thing I'll do is insert an image into this article, which is always very popular. Let's put our cursor where we want the image to appear, and I'll click on the small picture frame icon within the JCE editor. This will expand the image manager, which is part of the JCE. This contains images that are already uploaded to my Joomla site. This image, the art gallery logo, for example, we uploaded in a previous tutorial. The other images that are listed here were part of the sample data set. If I'd like to upload an image, I'll click on the Upload button within the Image Manager. This will allow me to browse my computer for an image. I'll click on the Browse button in the next window, and I'll take a look at some images that I've already collected for my site. I'll select this art gallery image, but I want you to notice I've already resized this image to be more appropriate for the web. It is recommended that you resize images before uploading them to your Joomla site. Once the image is uploaded, notice the properties and preview windows at the top of the image manager. To fill out these fields, I'll need to select the image that I just uploaded, which is the art gallery image here. So I'll click on the image title and those fields are populated. In the preview window, I can see what the image looks like in relationship to text that's already in my article. And I'd like my text to wrap around the left side of my image, so in the alignment drop-down, I'll select right to put the image on the right side of the text. I can also add in a margin, which I'll add in 5, and that's for pixels, and that will stay equal on all sides of the image. I'll click on the Insert button at the bottom of the Image Manager when I'm ready to insert the image into the article, and here I can get a preview, but I'll click on the Save button at the top of the Article Manager, and I'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page in order to see what the changes look like on the front end. I can see my image and my Heading 2 tag and my unordered list. Now, in order to apply some more formatting to this article, let's return to the back end of the site. Many times Joomla users will want a little bit of more room to work with when creating an article, and I want you to notice this drag and drop feature which will allow you to 
resize the article text area. I can make this larger or smaller here. And if I'd like to expand this, I can click on the toggle full screen mode button. That will expand the article into a larger window where I can look at more of the text and edit more of the text that I'm creating. This is also referred to as a distraction free writing mode and if I'd like to toggle back to the normal view I'll simply click on the toggle full screen mode button again. Another very popular question we get is how to link text within an article to either a source within the website or to an external source. To create a link you'll first want to highlight the text that you want to link. I'll highlight this art gallery tours text and to create the link I'll click on the link icon within the JCE. This will open up a new link window where I can link this text to different types of content. If I want to link to content within my site already I can either open up the contacts, content, menu, or web links icons here. Or if I'd like to link to an external site I can copy a URL from a website and paste it into the URL field here. I paste it in the cloudaccess.net link and down below I can also select a target. I'll have this target open into a new window and then I'll click on insert to create the link. The color of the text changes which indicates that I've created a link and if I want to break the link I'll highlight the text here and click on the unlink button within the JCE. I don't want to unlink though. I want to go ahead and click on the save button to save this article and I want to go to the front end of the site and refresh the page to see if the link I created is working. So returning to the front end I'll refresh the page. I can see that the art gallery's tour text has changed and if I click on this text the cloudaccess.net site will open up into a new window. Let's return to the back end to cover a few more features. Many of the features of the JCE you'll be familiar with if you've used any type of word processor in the past. Use the indent and outdent buttons instead of using the tab button on your keyboard. Use the anchor button to create anchors within the text which is useful especially if you have longer passages of text and use this series of buttons to create a table within the text. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to start creating modules for your Joomla site.